Now that we are done with the number formatting, let's look at how we format the overall table and the text content here. So let us take a preview on how it looks like as of now. Let's click on File and Print. And don't worry about you know how to print because we'll be discussing this in detail. What we must be concerned at this stage is the look and feel of the overall table. So I would encourage you to look here on the right hand side and uh, see if this table is making sense to you. Ideally speaking this table can be improved in terms of formatting in much more detail. So let us look at you know ways and mechanisms of improving this formatting and for this let's go back to the home page and um, here is the subtitle. The first thing that we can do in this Excel sheet is to shift the heading of the table from the left hand corner to the top of the table. So that we can do using a cut command. Let's say we right click on cell A1, we do a cut and we paste it in cell B2 by right clicking and paste. So what happens is this cell is immediately above the overall table. Now in order to center this on the table, we can use this function called merge and center. So if you can click here you will find that this heading or the number of cells will get merged and the heading will be at the center. So this is what we wanted at the first place. Heading of the table should be at the top. Now the second thing that we may like to note here is that many of the text is not readable at all. Say for example department so for this we know how to work on this. We can click between D and E, double click and all things will get aligned. What else can we do? Now look at the serial number 1, 2 is really aloof, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 till 18 all are on the right hand intent. So what we can do is we can make them as work on center. So this is a small thing that we can work on in terms of formatting the serial numbers. For formatting the text, you need to remember that there are different kinds of formats and fonts which are available. You can actually change the color of the font if you want. Say for example, if you want to change the color of names from black to blue or green or orange, you can simply do that by selecting them. However, for our purposes, we will keep these fonts as black itself. Let us try to make uh, this formatting a bit more visually appealing and intuitive. The thing that we can do is since these are headings, we can use bold at the top. By clicking on bold, these headings get highlighted. Likewise, these titles here, we can again bold it by clicking here. The other thing that we can do is we can select, if you look at at the top, you'll find that there are outside borders which are mentioned. There are different kinds of borders and formations which are available. If you let's say want to format or keep borders across the table here, what we can do is we can select this full table and click on all borders. So what will happen is borders will be formed across the table as such. So this is how you know the borders may function. There are different kinds of border options. The bottom border, the top border, left border, right border. Let's try to make another use of uh, the borders. Let's say for example if we want to border this overall area in totality. We don't want the borders inside these cells but the overall border. So what we can do is we can select this whole area. We can go to border and we can select outside border. That's what we want in this case and we press that outside border and we find that the outside border is now visible. We may also make these headings as bold. In addition what we can also do is probably look at formatting this cell in terms of different colors. So there's a different color that we can use. Let's say if you want to use yellow color in order to highlight the topic or maybe you know different combination of colors which you like let's say orange 
and uh, maybe a different color combination for the cell for different subtitles let me choose this one and this is how you know we can look at formatting let's now go back and look at print preview and uh, see how it looks as compared to the previous version yes it may not be totally formatted we can still look at ways and mechanisms of improving this formatting at this stage however this looks good to go in the first case now having formatted the table in a very traditional way where we had used borders and fill colors uh, these kind of options this is a reasonable table format that we have kind of created however if you would like to make use of the automated formats which are provided by Microsoft Excel you know, these also provide a very professional way of uh, making tables uh, say for example if you go to home and uh, click on format as tables you will find that there are different kinds of options which are available in a predetermined set of formats any set of format which you may like to choose depending on your personal uh, color choices you can actually uh, make the most of it so let us uh, try to uh, use these set of formats to automatically format the table at hand so uh, let me go back and uh, by default change the color combinations which were used initially now what we need to do next is select the table and uh, go to format as table and as you can see there are various kinds of options uh, you may choose table style light 9 this may be one of the options and um, as you can see where is the data for your table the data for a table is not at k2 here but the data for the table is essentially starting from serial number name department till the very end so this is the selection which you have to make for uh, the table and the next thing that you should note is that uh, this thing should be checked if you have the table header so my table has an header header means serial numbers names departments all these are table headers and uh, once you're done with this just press OK you may see that you know there's some kind of professional style that uh, gets into these uh, tables which are determined automatically so likewise if you want to change a table style it's just a click away so uh, these are also professional ways of you know changing or uh, making the tables uh, and formatting the tables